day 89. Hi everyone, welcome back to the police. Here we are. Golden Bird, immigrants in the city up 19%. Freeburg Tribune, ambulance driver takes down robber addict. And the fact, Freeburg's number one paper. Bishop demands name change for Holy House Pizza. Yeah. Okay, City Hall, we're all good. Mafia, we are all good. Police Station, we're two out of three, which is not too bad for us. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. Awesome. Okay, my dog died yesterday and I'm terribly depressed. Can I go home? He's our um, rat. Uh, no. Not for a dog. I was up all night reading the last detective story called the last. Sorry, the exciting detective story called The Last Temptation of Neptune. No. You really need to have proper excuses if you can have death. Let's start. Uh, go to map. Don't want any catalog music causing any issues. Right, mafia, our share. Uh, your friend sent you the share of the money from the sale. Five thousand. Let's share that with the staff. Um, Jack, you swore an oath to serve the city. Oh man, really? I thought we'd sent enough cops. If you can't keep your promises, we won't keep ours. Okay, I thought I was going to have my salary reduced. What have I got now? Labour market. I can hire a cop. Jim Kendall, uh, Silvio Mille, or Dennis Class. Uh, well, oh, hang on. Let's. Where do we want them actually? Let's have a look. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cops on shift A, and ten on B. Um. We'll put them on shift A. Welcome to shift A. Awesome. Right, we have an assault. At, oh, hang on, let's close this down. We've just got something else coming. A bomb threat's coming. Oh my, it's all kicking off. Wait, an assault. A young man became outraged when an elderly woman broke in front of him in the line. Uh, and he stuck her with a force. Struck her with a force. Stuck her? I don't know. Anyway. A cleaning woman tried to intervene, but she came under blows as well. Okay, this sounds like... Hutchinson, take trove. Off you pop. We have a bomb threat in Desire Park. The corn monument has been strapped with explosives. The clear voice yelled on into the phone, and the line went dead. This sounds like a false alarm, but Oshiro... Or Oshiro, take uh, Griffith and uh, sort that out. Okay, fine. Take Roy. And what do we have here? Attempted robbery. Janet Salazar Guerrero startled an intruder who was trying to break into her house. He kept yelling things in a drunken voice. Said, if I don't open up, there's be trouble. That's, I bet you that's her partner. Bukarika, take Darius. Right, Atticus Corpse is still here and we've got uh, six officers he wants. Obviously, we're a little bit tied up at the moment, but hopefully. Do we have any investigations? No, it's all good. Hopefully we get towards the end of the day, we might send six officers out. Bomb threat, here we go. There wasn't a bomb, some children decided to play terrorist and tape some wires to a normal shoebox. Okay. Drug use in Desire Park. Mrs. House called to complain that some addicts who are loitering around the Edgar Allan Poe monument they're turning their brains to mush. They shoot up right there in the park in broad daylight. No shame, no conscious. Fishbach, take Weller. Off you pop. We got Kojak holding the fort down. It's all going well though. The assault charge. Hutchinson trove. Offender caught. Officers in harms. Oh, good stuff. It was a, an assault. Attempted robbery. Uh, drunken man was mistakenly thought he was breaking to his own house. Okay. Not a problem. Ooh, carjacking. We got a new investigation. Several over several overgrown men in dirty clothes. Overgrown men? O overgrown men. Over what did I'm not sure overgrown is the right uh, adjective adjective in that sentence. Anyway, men in dirty clothes are leaning against the monument. It seems they are sedated. Next to them is a few syringes and tourniquets. Um I don't have taste of them. Uh, shake the addicts away and read them their rights. I'm not sure what's going on there. One of the addicts says, Cops! and tries to crawl away. Good. 
Get down on all fours and try, <laughs> try to catch the addict in a fair race. Grab the addict. Uh, man, we can't keep up with you. Grab the addict. 11, Fish back, well, uh, well done. No nonsense. I would have tased him as he was slowly crawling away like a tortoise, but no. They're far too professional. Attempted carjacking. For first store. A teenager stole an expensive car. Doesn't look that expensive, does it? Looks like an old... Yeah. Uh, but lost control and crashed the vehicle. It ended up fleeing the scene. Right, Weaver, you are lead. Take everyone. Take everyone. Can't sort that one out. Good. Well, that's uh, 12 o'clock already. Time for lunch. Not much, you know, has troubled us so far. If we can get to about... Oh, I don't know. Maybe five-ish, six-ish. I might look to uh, do this Atticus Corpse. Not Corpse. Corp. <laughs> Corporation. Uh, students report a serious fight going on down the street outside their dorm. Several people are shooting each other with machine guns. Right there in the middle of the road, pedestrians are hiding behind cars. Someone is bleeding on the pavement and has all the markings of a mafia war. Right, fish back. We're going to send up a majority of the squad on this one. Yeah. Uh, take the SWAT team. Yeah. Investigation has started. Here we go. What the hell is that? It's a woman hiding behind a tree. And a woman doing a uh, pretending to walk quickly thing. Okay, we need some more. Before I read all the gump, I'm going to wait for more uh, photos to come from the investigation. So we're not wasting our time. Oh. Damn, I've just sent nearly everyone out. Um, massacre. I came to the park to play chess and then people started running past screaming, covered in blood, reports Mr. Uh, breathless Mr. Connolly. Uh, I just ran as fast as I could. This feels like a false alarm. This feels like a a film beat, you know, if it's something being filmed or something. It's got all the hallmarks. Oh, it's more Citroen. Griffiths, Hutchinson, off you pop. Now I've only got two cops left. What's this office building one? Uh, we received 12 complaints about MoneyGrow, a company which promises reliable investment returns. Once they got the money, they started avoiding all investors. They become uh, belligerent and urge even the big investors to simply trust them. Brett Byron, who lost over $10,000, uh, says the director of MoneyGrow has withdrawn all the money and is preparing to flee the country. Bukarika, take Roy. Go get him, son. This this one's got all the uh, hallmarks of um, somebody just getting the wrong end of the stick, um, or we've made a terrible mistake. Firefights. <gasps> no, five cops and our mole. Ah, uh, I'm in mourning. Indian Festival of Colours for the first time. Good, that was a false alarm. I thought so. Ah. Uh, Officer Fraud. Um, sorry, I'm a little bit... <laughs> oh my god, I just lost five cops! Um, seeing the police... Uh, we're not going to do Atticus Tower today, that's for damn sure. We don't have anyone left. Uh, seeing the police woman, uh, sorry, seeing the police, a woman quickly hides a file in a safe, then grabs a stack of papers from the table and waves them in the air, saying, "Our paperwork's in order. We're a real company." And um, what should we do? Grab the stack of papers and beat the woman's face in. Um, tempting at the moment. Uh, what do you have in the safe? Take the hidden file from the safe. Bukarika Roy, offender caught, officers and harmed. Goodness me, go back to the the morning that's just about to be happening in the police station. Um, well, we just got in there. Atticus Tower. Security from the Blink Zone studio reported that a trainee f photographer became so excited during a nude shoot that he attacked the model and intended to rape her. Hurry, he locks himself into the room with her. Okay. Um, Fishbach and Wella, I know you've just had a traumatic shootout on the streets, but would you mind going and um, sort that one out? And hopefully Bukarika and Roy will be back in time so we can send, uh, what do we have, this illegal arms sale. B 
Bill Buckler saw a truck of, uh, and a few cars near his farm. Around them was a group of about 10 people arguing. The farmer wanted to drive the suspicious folk away from there, but when they saw him, they grabbed some weapons uh, from their vehicle to open fire. Buckler somehow managed to uh, back to the house safely and called the police. Oh god, what's this one? Entertainment District Assault. During the bodybuilding show, a small group of girls burst into the room and did something that threatens the very lives of the participants. Uh, one of the bodybuilders put in a call to the police. But his words were slurred and he spoke through his tears. Uh, he was unable to clearly explain the situation. That sounds a weird one. Uh, we're going to have to choose because we don't have the cops to go to both. So I think we're going to do the... We're going to go to the farm because there's a shootout there. And we'll send the SWAT team as well. And we'll send the paddy wagon. We're going to send everyone who's left. And this bodybuilding thing, I'm sure they can take care of themselves. Oh, something else is happening. The rape. Fishback, Vela, Fender Corps, officers in harms, civilians in harm. Excellent. Well done. The other assault. Uh, the girls were just sh shouting insults and belittling the bodybuilder's lifestyle, which brought the muscle band... Oh, okay, fine. Oh, my goodness. That was a good one to skip, as it were. Right, uh, we may get a massive fight. Well, we can't send two cops to a massive fight. That's just ridiculous. Although they may get there, and by the time they get there, these guys might be back. Uh, and they'll probably ask for some backup. Okay, men with automatic weapons have surrounded the farm farmer's house. He's struggling to put up a fight, but he's just armed with an old gun. Okay, get close to the criminals by crawling across the field, ambush and beat the criminals in the truck before they can uh, sound the alarm. Go over to the criminals' cars and start shooting and jumping around. Let's try and ambush them. Oh god, the suspects jump into the car shouting, who's gonna stay and watch our stuff? Uh, grab the pitchfork, uh, drop your weapons, or eat let's just shoot to kill. No! No! Bukarika! No, Bukarika! This is stupid! Seven cops! What the hell is going on? I don't care! Let's, we'll wait for another day. I really don't care at the moment. Massive refight. I don't care. Don't care. This is getting ridiculous. Ah! Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, we need cops. Wow. Well, on that very somber note, we're going to say goodbye to Darius, Bukarika. Roy, Oshiro, Griffith, Hutchinson, and Trove. Sad, sad day in the Freeburg Police Department. One of the worst days in the Freeburg Police Department. Fishbach, Vella, and Kojak will probably need to go into counselling for the next two or three months. But we have a lot of recruiting to do to get back on track. Oh man, I can't believe that. I really can't believe that, but we're going to leave it there, guys. I don't think I can go on anymore. <laughs> it's a f oh. It does feel that the tide is turning and this is just really trying to ramp up the uh, the random number against us. It really does. Right, but we will, we will, you know, we have a position of responsibility, so we will go again next time. So thanks for watching. I'm not. Uh, how could you enjoy losing seven officers? I don't know, but uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video, and you'll join me again next time in the Freeburg Police Department. I'll see you then.